Hey everybody, this is a very different style review that I normally do not review stuff like this, but I figured it has dinosaurs, so I'm going to review it. This is called the Clash and Crash Track Set. Turn the flash on. Comes with one car. It's unassembled. Um, if you're interested in this, this is on, I believe, Target.com. There's the, the SKU number for y'all if you want. Here's the back of the box. Um, looks like you open it here. Yeah, you open it from the bottom there. And then you peel, you will not really peel, you pull all this apart. Come on, I can't ever, I can never open it in one solid piece. It looks like this entire thing just, oh, oh, that's even fucking cooler. Hold on, I'll, I'll show y'all in a minute. It says, this is also compatible with the minifigures. That's stinking cool. Come on, I can't, I want to open it. There you go. Instructions, which we will put those. I'm going to put the, the set over here. Um, this is what you get inside. Um, right now, I'm just going to, you know, grab all the... Oh, man. The Giga doesn't come off this stand. Yeah, I was going to say the Giga could have come off, but it, it doesn't. But here's... That piece. Alright, I'm gonna review the Giga without his feet, but I'm gonna find his legs. This is made by Mattel, obviously. They have the right, well, they're the ones who make Hot Wheels and Matchbox cars. Where's the other leg? Um, there's no way they didn't not include it. There it is, it's just in the back. All right, let's take a look at, oh, that's cool. So here's the Giga, this looks, uh, it's not as big as the Sound Surge, but it looks just like the other Gigas. Um, what you do is, I think, you pull the leg forward, and it opens up. I think you're meant to do it with both of them. So there's the piece. It's got very nice sculpt. It's got the painted pupil and the eye. It's got that normal Mattel green Giga when it should be that color. A darker brown or, or whatever. Um, the arms can move, but mine, well, one of the arms on mine is very loose. The legs, obviously, are the action feature. And the tail here can, it's not painted, but it looks like it can kind of spin only there to there um let's see let's see what the instructions look like this just says I don't know what the hell that means this is literally warning and attention stuff in all of the languages all of them put the bigger back on the in the box. So, oh man, stickers. I love stickers. No, I don't. Oh man. Oh man. I need batteries. Fuck. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to assemble it and do two separate videos and put them together. Alright. I'm just going to pause you guys. This is going to be a long assembly. Alright, I did have to turn it off, but I can put the two together. So I'm going to pause you guys, and then I'm going to... In like five seconds, you will see the whole thing assembled. Alright. Back. So... I'm just going to show you this, it all assembled. And then I'm going to... 
uh, or else it comes with this single car. Top, there's the back, there's the front, there's the bottom. 2012 Mattel Hot Wheels Pursuit. So I still gotta figure out how to play with it. Come on. Batteries go in there. I can't play with it until I get the batteries, so I'm going to put that there. I'm going to do the other review. So, I'm, I'm not sure why this doesn't work, but this is where the on and off switch would be. Now, what happened is when I was putting the batteries in, I well, I used a knife because I don't have a fucking screwdriver in the house. I basically, this whole bottom part, and you can see it there, that's not supposed to be there. So this doesn't, it, the, the electronics don't work anymore. Unfortunately, so I can't really demonstrate what it'll do. But I have a pretty good idea on how it works. So basically you start here. You go through that. I'm going to try to get it fixed or replaced or whatever. And you can also put your minifigures all on these small pegs all over the place. Like it's not, it, it's crazy. I mean this right here is a multi, like a fighting ring. It's pretty gnarly. I mean, hell, if I have, if, if, if even if this, this doesn't work, I can use this piece right here as a multi ring to put the mini dinosaurs in. Plus, I have these two stickers, which I probably won't, I don't give a damn about. So, right, let's get back to it. So, this goes up the, the loop, the loop. I, I'll have to watch a couple videos on it. It goes around like that. So, I'm going to try to... There you go. Yes! See, that's one way you can do it. And the other way, you can just go this way. And then like that. Alright, I'll do it again. That was pretty bad. So, this is like a collapsible piece. Which goes on like that. Well, I, I just flew right off the damn track. Yeah, you got this little mini Carnotaurus, which looks like the Toro minifigure. Well, speaking of Carnotaurus, I got a surprise coming. I'm repainting the super colossal Carnotaurus. And you can probably take and guess on what I'm going to repaint it to. So, yeah. Yeah, I, I, messed, I messed up on this. I'm an idiot. Sorry. Let's take a look at the Carnotaurus real quick. Um, I'm sure I can get this piece off. Can I? No, I can't. I should. I should have. Should have. So the mouth is not open. The eye is painted yellow with no pupil. The little arms are down like that. You, it's casted in a brick colored orange, and it's got brown splotches all over the back, and actually going all the way down, down the end of the tail. The only thing that this thing kind of does is that the car kind of smacks into it and it does that. So this is not like a, a spinning piece, but it can only go so far. And I'll try to get a look at the other side for you. It also has that gray underneath of his belly going all the way down to there. Yeah, I'm going to try to fix it. Alright, I'm the kind of man that don't want to give up. Alright, so, I tried to fix it, and guess what, I fucking fixed it. Turns out, it was not a very hard fix. There was this little peg in there, and everything, I, I'm, not, I'm not even going to go into detail. So, let's turn it off. 
Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. Let's fix the bridge for Mr. Giga. I'm gonna fix the legs. Give another, give another run. Ow, that hurt. Oh, my basement's so dirty. Supposed to do, you're supposed to like throw it around or, or catch it or something. I don't know. But well, this is called the crap, the clash and crash. What is it? Track set. Two more run. All you do is catch the card. Turn up. There you go. Now, if you really wanted to, you could do it like I think. I think the way you're meant to do it is that you start here. I figure it out. You're supposed to put the car here. Goes down. Yeah, that that's what you do. Oh, and sometimes your car will flip. You just gotta give it a start. And like I said earlier. You can also put your minifigures all over in these areas. Uh, I really don't have. To, I, I really don't feel like going up there and getting them, and coming back down, and then putting them back on the shelf. So, yeah, I might. I, you might see it again. Who knows? So basically, turn off. This uh, requires four D-sized batteries. That's right, four. And yeah, that's about it for this video. This is like four videos in one. I'm not so much fun editing. Well, not really editing, just putting them all together. All right, guys, peace.